Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and today we're going to be talking about chroma keying, which is green screen or blue screen kind of stuff where you remove the background. Select this picture in picture track and we're going to delete it. Now it's out of our way. So what a green screen is, if I come and I drop this video in here, and we're going to just go ahead and get rid of the audio. Um, now I just hit the delete key to do those things. Uh, you can see this Korok here from the Legend of Zelda series on a blue screen. So a blue screen is a singular color and we're going to remove that. This is a simple green screen, oh, sorry, a blue, simple blue screen, a chroma key effect. Uh, we're going to talk about how it works and how to do it with this and then we're going to do a more complicated chroma key next. So this chroma key is uh, simple. We're just going to go to video effects. We're going to type in chroma and we're going to find our chroma key right here and we're going to drag and drop that to the Korok. Now it almost works but don't be fooled we're not done yet. So go ahead and uncheck the chroma key right there and bypass the effect. And then we're going to select the color behind it with this color selection wheel. You can also manually select the color uh, but the color selection dropper here is nice. Anything on the screen if you select that it'll match the color. So now we have this color right here it's blue it's gonna be the same blue so when we unbypass the effect it pretty much just works now how this works is a chroma keyer chroma is just latin for uh... maybe is it greek chroma is just greek for color and what you're doing is you're actually just grabbing a color you're narrowing down where it is in the color spectrum and you're removing that color. So we want to remove that color, say this color blue right here, and we can narrow it down even more with the lower and higher thresholds. We're gonna talk about that in a second. We're gonna talk more about the low threshold and the high threshold and stuff when we get to more advanced green screening. But for now, this works. This is now a chroma keyed Korok. Uh, and if you hit show mask only, it'll show you actually what's happening with this mask here. It'll show you what is actually being removed. You can see it's not quite perfect. There's a couple of spots here that aren't solid white. Um, but the rule is, is that solid white is what is staying, while if you don't see solid white, that will be removed. That is a mask. And you can use this mask, uh, if you, you can just use this mask for the video itself too, if that's Something you want to do, I have a whole video about that as well. So first off, let's uncheck this mask here, and we're done with the Korok. So next, let's move on to uh, a little more famous of a green screen example. We're going to do Shia LaBeouf. And the reason why I use the Shia LaBeouf example when I do a green screen tutorial is because it's just a nice green screen uh, for having a mediocre green screen. So it's not the great greatest green screen, but it's not the worst either. It works, uh, but it does take a little finagling to do, which means it's great for a tutorial and teaching you how to deal with green screen. So I've selected this background here, uh, and I just went to my event cramp crop button there, and I... Uh, found the part of the background I want to use and I picked one that was a more golden -y kind of color background because I want to show you a little bit about color matching your subject to the background as well uh, and this is a great one to do that with. Now I'm using a photo because a video can get really complicated really fast if the video has a flicker or a movement we could be motion tracking and keyframing uh, and so just for the simplicity sake I'm grabbing a photo but a video will obviously give you a better effect uh, and we can talk more about how that works in future videos on this channel. Uh, but right now we're going to just go ahead and we're going to grab a little section of the super long. There we go. So we got the just do it part here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the audio because I think we all know what it says and that's not a big deal. Uh, we're talking about the video effects. So here's him on a green screen and we want, I can get, move this background behind it, we want him to be on this background. So if I lower the opacity, you can kind of see uh, how this is going to work. Uh, and this, we're gonna grab the chroma key effect and we're gonna throw it on here and it's gonna have some issues. Go ahead and bypass it. And then we're going to select the color. Now you're gonna notice the first problem with a typical live action green screen. You're gonna see there's actually a little bit of color bleed where, um, there is a gradient here. Some of this is brighter green, some of this is darker green. We're going to try and select something that's indicative of all the green. Um, maybe let's try one thing more. That maybe. Um, 
something that's more indicative of the majority of green, and that'll help us get rid of it. But even still, after we bypass effect, you're going to have a ghost. Uh, you're still going to be removing too much color because uh, this this green isn't a nice, bright, unknown green. This green contains shades of all different colors in it because it's not really a nice, clean green either. And that's a very common problem. So uh, I have a whole video about common green screen problems. You just check that out. Um, but this right here. Uh, this is where the low and high thresholds come in. So if you bump down the low threshold, that's the low parts of the color you can remove, and the high threshold, you can actually kind of help isolate your green screen. Now, thing is, is that's hard to see what you're doing. So I'll go ahead and hit show mask only. That makes it a crap ton easier to do. Uh, we're going to, here, we can get rid of the edges of the screen by removing the lows, and we can bump down the highs until we get to the point where the only thing you see is a silhouette of Shia. And so if you let him move around a little bit, you'll see how well this works or doesn't work. Uh, there's a couple of things like this shot right here with his watch. We want to try and tighten it to get it to where we don't want the background showing through like that. We want to try and tighten it to get it to where we get as much of him as we can, just him, with as little of the background as possible. So you should see a perfect silhouette, no holes. Now, from experience, I can tell you it's not worth dealing with this little reflection on his watch there. Uh, we're just going to ignore that. Uh, but there is a little section here where his skin is still showing. So tighten that up as much as we can. So now when we uncheck the mask, you're going to see a pretty good green screen, but we're far from done. Because uh, with this green screen, you can see there is a sheen around his skin. Uh, and that sheen around his skin is because when an actor or an object is close to a green screen, the green light is actually reflecting back to the skin of the object. And there's motion blur. Uh, there's nothing we can do about the motion blur. That's all talked about in my other video about green screen problems. So if you want to learn more about that, check that out. But um, this this right here, with if we ignore the motion blur, this is almost a good key, but the, the screen on his skin is just too much. So we're actually going to go to the color again. We're going to manually kind of move the color. And the reason why is because we can actually kind of dial in the effect a little bit better uh, here by just moving the color just around, just a little circle, see what better fits his, removes the color from his skin without messing up your hard work. So now let's watch it a little bit. Another way to make this a little easier is we're actually going to grab the levels effect. So one thing that we can do is actually tighten up the colors behind it. So this with this levels effects here, I'm going to drag and drop it to Shia. And I'm going to move it. This is important. This is the effect chain up on top. I'm going to move this before the chroma key. And then we're going to up the input uh, darkness a little bit, just a touch. And then we're going to brighten a little bit just a touch and we might have to re-grab our green screen but this is going to actually help increase the contrast on Shia himself on your subject and it's going to that will will really 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 help you green screen because it'll change his skin tone uh, it'll remove the contrast will make it him stand out against the green screen better so this is how it looks with or without see how that green is brighter so um, now if we go back to the chroma key here uh, we can bypass the effect, grab this brighter green here, and then you can see that it does a much better job uh, with the brighter green. And we can still put this mask back on, kind of see how this looks, various spots. Again, there's nothing you can do about the motion blur. Uh, but it's not quite perfect yet, so let's go ahead and see if we can get a worse frame here and try and re-isolate it a little bit. And then here, when you turn the mask off, that's where you can deal with the green sheen and halo around the actor. 
So what you want to focus on is the spots where everything is nice and good. You're not going to be able to remove the motion blur. So like right here when he's swinging his arm around, that see that motion blur there? It wraps the green. The camera has put the green and his skin together. So that's just something that you're going to have to live with. And one thing we can do to make this a little better, I'm noticing from the pro, I forgot. Uh, let's go into properties and let's hit um, disable resample. And that will actually help us a lot as we are doing this. It will stop meshing the green so much with his skin as he moves around. And that helps a ton in Movie Studio. There we go. That's a much better looking green screen. So we're still not done. Uh, let's go ahead and hit Alt-G. And now we've got our color grading panel open. Now with this color grading panel, um, again, if we look at the effect chain by hitting here, you can see this color grading panel is now at the front of the effect chain. We actually want to move it to the back of the effect chain because we don't want it affecting the levels and the chroma key we've already done. We want it affecting only what we see here, only Shia. So uh, to do that now, we can make him match this scene a little better. So he's in a place that's actually very yellow, very white balance towards yellow. Uh, and I picked that on purpose so that way you could do something more extreme. So to change the white balance, you just go to offset and you can move it really a lot and that's not gonna be good. So uh, if you hit control, it'll keep you from moving it very fast. It'll let you dial in a little better what you wanna do. And we're gonna hit control and we're gonna very gently move towards yellow. Just very, very, very gently move towards kind of a yellowish red and let him match the background just a little bit better. And now with the highlights too, we're going to do the same thing because the highlights are what's most effective. So that moved all the lift, gamma, and gain. Uh, but now we're going to move the highlights just a little bit more. So we're going to grab the highlights and just move them just a, a touch over to the yellow as well. So now that's pretty good, but one thing you wanna do after you've moved something like this is you wanna kinda of get their skin tone fixed a little bit. So we're gonna gamma is uh, where the skin tone mostly lives. So we're gonna to go to the gamma, and we're gonna move it towards red, just a touch, just the a red and a yellow. Just a touch to kinda of get his skin just a little warmer looking, a little less sick looking. So that's almost there. He does match. Let's go ahead and go to this color grading T and we remove it. You can see the big difference there. Here he looks like he's lit indoors and here he looks like he may have actually been lit in the same alleyway. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the event pan crop and make sure your sync cursor isn't selected for this. Uh, you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in here if you have the same problem where you start zoomed out. Uh, but we're going to uh, grab the corner and we're going to make him smaller, bring him down to a more normal size, and let him walk around this alleyway kind of more in the middle there, get him on the scene where we want him. So now when we watch it, oh, you can see his legs get cut off. That's because we didn't line up this little dotted line just right. There we go. And so now when we watch it, you can see that he is mulling around the alleyway, much more believable angle there. So that is how to chroma key green screen, blue screen in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. Remember, patrons are a big help in me doing more videos, so check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.